low key, the armor on the up B, you can kind of start preemptively up being out of shield against Peach's pressure and tank yeah. through it, which might actually work out really well. But Roy is very abusable once he gets hit. So we might see Sora J's combo game shine. I mean, 10 seconds, 77.7%, .7%, pretty good start. Good start indeed. Got a little bit of a lead. Now we just got to play back and wait for the yep, wait for the approaches. Doesn't have to do too much. But putting yourself with your back against the wall against Roy isn't going to be the best situation long term, I'll say. We want to find our footing and uh, keep this lead as best we can. And we're not going to get the grab, not the range that we're looking for either. But that's okay. All for none. Still fighting out, trying to get one of these crucial sweet spot hits of Roy's falling up air. Looking to go up and over on the up B by hitting it with down air, but unfortunately the spacing wasn't quite right. Yep, oh, the dead. turnip will do the job though. Roy has to recover at such a perfect arc for you to edge guard him with turnips. Yeah, and, did, and knew that you didn't even have a chance. He was like, all right, run it back, next up. Oh, oh, that was a Z catch, you know it. Getting the neutral air dodge instead though. Sora J almost showing some really impressive stuff here. Putting on the shield pressure as well. We're seeing the shield look a little bit smaller for all for none. They're keeping the shield pressure, like shield discipline up, which is good, but you gotta watch out because Sora J uh, will be able to put more and more and then find a poke with things like uh, up tilt or down, down smash, stuff, stuff like that to, to poke wherever you're angling the shield once it gets too small. Looking for that up air on shield that could have started some there pressure, but instead it's top. just a turnip chain across the stage, forward air to kill off the right. And my lord, Sora J almost getting it started once again. We'd be practicing that, but hey, side B from there is still going to take the stock all for none. Fighting with a 2-1 to one lead, uh, two to one disadvantage right now, having to deal with something else. But we're not going to get the full, like, we're not going to get the up throw on the turnip that we need to continue that combo and convert. But that's okay, Sora J. There it uh -oh. is. What Wait. did I say? What? Ledge Trump, Z Trump, bomb. Uh, yo, what did I say? Were we lying when we said Sora J is one of the most impressive players in Ultimate? Certainly not. I mean, a little help from Lady Luck, sure. But, dude. Dude. We're already starting. I'm serious. Sora J Dude, get is, out of is, here. Is, is that is that that guy? I'm serious. We got it. All right. So great start for Sora J in game one. Obviously, Roy has a great litany of tools that could work here against uh, against Peach, but we're not seeing them being put on full display enough. We need to challenge these with some up, uh, some anti airs, some up airs. Yeah, I think that's really the Sorties trump card. In these wait, wait, wait. You went for a footstool, wave land, and tried to grab off it. I don't think that's a true combo. I don't think so. But that's crazy. I'm holding shield if I get footstooled. That's for sure. That's true. It, it, it is scared. a mix-up. It is a true mix-up. It is a, is a forced option. Like, you do what I tell you to. You shield right now. All right. That said, all for none. Looking pretty good in this game, too. Now with a 70% lead of his own, Sora J cutting that in half, though. Yeah, no tech on those landings. You've got to be ready to tech in any given situation, even at lower percents like that, because otherwise, Sword J is going to find a second hit, find a conversion, but all for none. This time, taking the first stock very nicely. A side B, again, has been the uh, the great kill option for him so far. Little spaghetti from both players on the ledge there, but it's going to be all for none capitalizing on it. Seeing an opening for that double edge dance, that's going to have so much kill power. And now, oh, bold dash grab, just running right up in there. He's almost starting a plat uh, combo off of the platform. Didn't yeah. work out, but still, percent is percent, man. We'll take it. Exactly. But the Z drop, turn up, not going to be able to find its mark. Good ledge grab for all for none. Sword J now starting to trail behind. The extra credit is racking up for all for none, and we're just playing back. We know that Sword J has to make the approaches. We're going to wait for those to happen, and then we're going to use the sword to its best ability. I'm loving those preemptive up airs, by the way. That's what I'm talking Not about. normally something you do in neutral. Obviously, it's a great juggle tool, but you're not going to see people just preemptively call out your jumps. Peach, on the other hand, is always in the air. So I like that from all for none. So far, it's working out. Full stock lead over Sora J right now, looking to tie this up. Yeah, I was looking for the anti airs. We are getting them, even in the F tilt, but no tech on that stage spike. Going to send right back out to Blast Zone. That's going to be enough dot eyes on there as well, but wow, what the heck? Wow, oh my god, three ah! back to back parries and then a counter. What is going on, Nerf? I have no idea, but I'm enjoying it. Let's go. We've got another. Oh, is this oh. going to do it? No, we missed the combo, but it's all right. We get a lot of damage, 80% off the rip. And just like that, Sword J within swinging distance of taking the second stock right afterwards. It feels like you never have a lead against this guy. Right. It is combos in every possible Ooh. fashion. All right, you're not getting away with another one of those. 
Yeah, but they didn't shield it in time. Like, the forward air was a little bit hesitated. So I, I have to say, like, Sorge wanted to punish so badly. All for one did do the right thing in, in shielding at the right time. So this is going to do it? No. Yes. It sure is. Okay. Never doubt that move, brother. With the rage? Yeah, you're right. It's definitely going to do it. Wow. That's crazy. Look at this. Three parries in a row, and then four, and then like, yeah, Dude, look, look at all that. So badly, all for nonsense did stuff, but do the right thing. Great reaction to the right players. Time, so. I mean, it feels like they're doing each it? other's heads. No, but this is yeah, like sure a is. duel between two very strong players. Over 500 seeds separate. Oh, the difference, two, that's by the true. Way. And oh, yeah. what do we get? A game three fire set. Again, this is what Ultimate in 2024 looks like. Can't sleep on anybody. Sora J, though. Gonna see if they can turn it back up. Channel some of those combos from game one. I'm still so shocked by the ledge drop bomb, or ledge trump bomb. Yeah. That's still, yeah, from game one, that was still is crazy. We need to turn up these conversions as well. I think that's the big thing that Sora J needs, is like you're getting the combo starters, you're getting halfway through the combo, but then you're dropping it off of some reaction, some panic option, whatever it is. Sora J has got to be able to find more consistent confirms. They want to take these stocks, otherwise it's just damage. Love that air dodge fade back from All For None. Pretty unconventional. Maybe looking for the platform, but either way, it worked out. That said, you're stuck in the corner against Peach now. Hold on, quick reversal. Trying to force All For None to play a little bit of chicken with the shield, but look at this again. All, like very strong rage and the side B. It feels like All For, One, All For None doesn't need any other kill options because that is doing the job. Oh, ah. side B stalling the air drift right there. Unfortunately means that All For None can't get back on the stage. We could have seen so much more damage from that stock. Ooh, okay, there's the uppie you were talking about at the beginning of the set. We're starting to see it uh, in shades right now, but All For None unable to get too much. Sora J looks like it could be something here, but no panic option off stage, no buffered air dodge. We're safe. Oh, the forward smash coming out. Trading with the first hit of Roy's neutral air right there. This is just so tense. A lot of shield pressure as well. We're seeing those landing nares. Going to grind down all for none shield. The roll covered as well. Sword J can just follow up with the low float drift and uh, do whatever they want. They can just like go as fast as they can, cover all the options. But are we going to see a juggle here? One up air could make things scary for Sword J. Unconventional recoveries from All For None have definitely saved his skin, by the way. Those high up Bs, not being afraid to go for that. Actually, really, really good. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, perfect dash back. Oh no, oh. the fair is still alive. Sword J fighting for their life here. And yep, popping All For None up with the poke through the ledge from the up B and just enough for Sword J to leap off the ledge and get the stop afterwards. But All For None, not far behind, only 14% taken. We are going to last stock of this Ooh. game. 70, 83 off of one hit. The air oh. dodge up, and you're not ready for that ledge trump. Got a buffer and option, but man, feels oh, like Sora J just thinks what? of everything, and it's safe because of the charge. Too much shield push, too much block stun. Another bomb. The Z drop bomb didn't work this time. It felt like it was too quick, and, and All For None was already barreling back to ledge. We avoid the second fair. Now we take feet. Oh, okay. We we aren't able to take anything. I just got to reset back to neutral. And oh, that's it. Fair off ledge, that's a classic for Peach, and it looks like Sword Jay's gonna clean up, kinda like the, the shy like smile, like, oh, that almost got too close, and then rolls up the controller. But Sora J, that got too close for comfort. For sure, and courtesy of an SD as well. I can't imagine what that game would have looked like had All For None made it onto the stage right. with that side B, kept the damage flowing, established more of a lead, but of course, Woo. tournaments particularly are a test of mental stamina, right? You gotta stay on point, you can't choke. Many careers have been made or broken by that. And unfortunately for All For None, Sora J just staying a little bit stronger in those final moments. You saw the mental stack start to add up. That last 45 oh. seconds was hot, man. Yeah. And Ledge Trump still having the presence of mind to go for something like that when you're potentially in a do or die situation, right? You're on your last stock on the ledge against Roy. Right. No, you're still thinking of these level two, level three mix-ups to go for. That was a Fire set, dude. It oh, that, so that woke me up, man. I mean, seriously, like the shot calling was there, and it felt like we picked the right shots at the right times. Uh, the mental fortitude was there, after all. You know, this is the test of the endurance. Like, how long can you put up with a, a high intensity set like this one? A high intensity matchup like Peach Roy. You know, that really will kind of put you to the fire and put you to the ropes and be like, okay, I gotta lock in right now. Yeah, forget about Steve and Sonic and all that. That is the ultimate that you know and love. That was some amazing gameplay from both of them.